What's up guys, it's Punchy, and I'm back with another custom deep and race concept that I really enjoyed working on. This time I got some assistance from one of my friends, so huge thanks to my friend Jace. Recently, I've been working on many deep and concepts for what I like to see in game while practicing a bit of my own character design. As always, these ideas and concepts are unofficial and purely fan-made, so don't expect to see these in game anytime soon. It's all about introducing new ideas to the deep and player base, and maybe we'll see something similar in the future. Some of my other racist designs are based off obscure and weird looking animals like the axolotl, ferrets and tortoises and currently in game we have a lot of other races that are commonly seen like deers cats and dogs but i wanted to do something different in media there's a ton of fox representation that i checked out but in video games anime and even movies much of their focus is about the orange or red fox but sometimes they would deviate and talk about the japanese kitsune i'm a huge fan of some of these anime and many of these video games but i felt like these fox representations were way oversaturated and you know too common on the other hand i found some interest in the weirder fox variants and specifically the fennec fox this anime animal is very hard to find and extremely well adapted to the desert. Globally considered the smallest wild dog, the fennec fox lives in the unforgivable environment known as the desert. These foxes are often brown and tan colored in order to blend in and hunt effectively in their sandy environments. One thing you'll notice, I mean, okay, let me say that again, one thing you cannot ignore about these creatures is their giant ears. Basically, they're so well adapted that the fennec fox has evolved into a creature perfect for its desert lifestyle. The giant surface area of their ears spread out and dissipate heat in order to cool off the animal and keep their temperature moderately low. They're definitely weird, so I made a concept. Introducing the Fenova. So this race is inspired by the Fennec Fox and it contains a mix of realistic and fantasy traits that you'll notice. Of course, the biggest thing about the Fenova's appearance is their giant Fennec Fox ears. They're really huge and goofy looking, which was the entire goal. One thing that many people overlook about the Fennec Fox is the strangely shaped indent in their lower ear. It almost looks like the ear is separated into two different sections. To be honest, I don't really know why the ears are like this, but one thing I do know is that his ass is definitely less of course, this was reflected in the ear design with the distinct separation of the upper and lower ear with some fluff on the inside. In the concept, this is only one position of the ears, but in real life, the Fennec Fox has a huge range of motion and they can move them all around. Now, the second part of this design revolves around the fantastic and spiritual desert eye. The third eye design was inspired by the mythology that takes place in the desert. Some of my favorite characters in fantasy-based media, like Aladdin from Magi, makes use of desert jinn abilities and their third eye. Not only in the show's mythology, but even Deep Oaken, eyes and third eyes are meant to pierce the veil of illusion and show the truth of the entire world. With the Fenovas, I wanted to pair this concept with the Fennec Fox and its desert environment. I assumed the basic Fenova would live in a sandy habitat covered in dust and debris, and in order to adapt to the sandstorms, this race developed a connection with some type of spiritual or mystical forest which granted them this ability. This is what I call Nova's Third Eye, a sun-like eye that guides them through the desolate sand which they call their home. If this was applied in-game, the eye would be animated and move around similar to what's shown on screen. The main idea of a third eye came from mythology and jinns, but in actual design, they look a lot like Naruto. Many of the sages have a third eye called the Rene Sharingan, and it looks pretty similar. The ability Nova's third eye originates from the term supernova, which describes the explosion of a star. Maybe this implies that the race's eye usage is not infinite, and maybe they'll lose this in the future. Adding on to the desert-like feel, I have some almost Egyptian-style markings for the Fenova's facial features. Its sun-like pattern and colors reflects its connection to the Nova's third eye. When I was working, I made a few different variants of this race, and the main one I've been talking about is the sand variant. The sand variant variant is of course the fennec fox discussed earlier and its colors are tan and yellow in order to blend into the sandy environment. In this case, Nova's third eye would bypass the sun and dust and guide them to their destination. This one is the most representative of the animal inspiration, but I do have a few others. The next variant I have is the snow version of the Fenova. Many of the colors and design are fitting for a snowy environment. There's a lot of cool foxes that live in the tundra and this variant is based off of them. It's an interesting design and I had a lot of fun with this one. Nova's third eye would see through snowstorms and blizzards instead of its sandy counterpart. And and the final Fenova variant is the Mint variant. Of course, the name is just a name, but this green and brown variant would exist in like a forest or something. I wanted to work with a dark brown color scheme and green worked best. I'm not too sure what type of obstacles Nova's eye would help them against in a forest environment, but maybe it could see through rain or fog. That's all for this race, and I really enjoyed working on it. I'm very excited to show you my deep walking concepts, and if you enjoy my work, please check out my Twitter. Anyway, make sure to like and subscribe because this took a lot of work, and we're almost at 50,000 subscribers. As always, thanks for watching, and have a good one.